Ottawa, Ontario, 1982. At the National Museum of Canada, paleontologist and curator of vertebrate fossils, Dale Russell, publishes a thought experiment. Based on the trend toward larger brain sizes and the upright posture of dinosaurs, he proposes a theory about what one species of dinosaur would have evolved into if it had survived the mass extinction 65 million years ago. What he did is take the dinosaur known as Truodon. They noticed the morphological changes in the skeletal structure of the dinosaur. And based on over time where it was going, they extrapolated it out further. And strangely enough, or wonderfully enough, they actually came up with a model that resembled a humanoid reptilian being, which actually matched that of the reports that we were hearing now, as well as reports from ancient history. So for me, this was one of the most compelling pieces of information where science actually says it is possible. The dinos hadn't died out. This would have become what he called the dinosaur roid, an upright standing semi-humanoid, semi-reptilian entity, what we might call a reptoid. He thought it might stand four to five feet high, weigh about 90 pounds, and have a fairly advanced brain. Now, did this entity ever come into existence? What if some of the dinosaurs didn't become extinct? What if they managed to survive the global extinction or presumed extinction 65 million years ago? And over time, some of them developed through natural selection and they grew smaller, they became more intelligent, they became more adept and adaptive and, and took on a, a humanoid form. We necessarily shouldn't think that the reptilians are extraterrestrials. Perhaps in some strange way, they're our forefathers, albeit from millions and millions of years in the past. If the reptilians do exist, could they be the descendants of dinosaurs that walked the Earth millions of years ago? Our concept of dinosaurs is changing all the time, of course, uh, and nowadays we're making so many new discoveries every year that we're reinterpreting them in many ways. Certainly, if you look 20, 30 years uh, back, there were so many things that have been found and so many other things we know now. Uh, particularly, I think it's been very important that nowadays is, is completely uh, very well accepted, the, the idea that dinosaurs are not extinct. The dinosaurs essentially evolved into birds and that um, they're alive today.